And uh, now we will continue to talk about the educational topics as well, because the Ministry of Education also plays a massive, massive role in terms of raising the cyber, you know, uh, uh, skilled people. And, and, and for that, I'm very, very happy to ask uh, on a stage Srenno Weintal, uh, who is the Deputy Secretary General of Higher Education Research and Adult Education at the Ministry of Education and Research. So many words of education. But the stage is yours and, uh, and uh, yeah, excited to hear from you. Thank you. Good morning. Good morning, everybody. Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen. Um, it's a great, great privilege for me to be here. Uh, within the next 15 minutes, I will try to cover the most important challenges and, and also the opportunities we see on a ministry level in order to um, address these challenges. I have been with the ministry for three years. Before that, I, I served as a professor in a in uh, one of our universities. Uh, what I have learned within these three years is that everything starts from the education. Whatever problem there is in, in the society, the policymakers, politicians, other stakeholders come together, uh, argue, disagree, but what they always agree uh, on is that uh, we should do something with the education. So there is, uh, what I recognize the, the uh, responsibility and uh, and uh, uh, we have but um, but uh, at the same time um, I see this as opportunity because uh, everybody uh, wants to contribute uh, to improve the educational system now I will start with uh, with uh, labor labor force labor sh shortage skills. In Estonia, we uh, have developed a coordination system or prognosis system, which uh, is not entirely unique, uh, but it's uh, quite efficient uh, and it's a reliable tool so we can know what do we need. Um, there is a paradox that if we count together all these domains where there is a skill shortage or labor so shortage, we would find that in Estonia we are missing something in between 50 to 70,000 skilled people. So that's another issue which uh, we cannot uh, somehow solve here. But uh, I'm just uh, uh, presenting the data on the uh, uh, skill skills shortage or the, the, um, the um, prognosis on IT, uh, number of IT specialists we, we believe we need in Estonia. The prognosis has been quite, uh, uh, quite precise. The yellow line uh, is, uh, uh, visualizes the, the forecast uh, until 2027. The blue bars actually uh, show um, the uh, employment indicators. Uh, so we see uh, this demand to, uh, uh, to uh, that it's growing, um, and um, um, uh, it's quite logical. Uh, but I, I just like to mention that it's getting harder and harder to to um, uh, to distinguish whether it's it's uh, an IT specialist or a, or a specialist of another field, because it 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 has been also changing. As an example, I would like to uh, tell a story when when I was preparing uh, as an engineer. And then later, when I was, uh, was uh, serving as a professor in mechanical engineering, I clearly recognized how much or how, how fast the, the, uh, the content of education uh, is changing. And that makes, uh, makes um, that creates many, many difficulties within these discussions, because there are many people who would, who would um, argue that we, we we, we need more this, we, we, we would need more that, new, new skills, new competences, but on the other hand, refuse to let go some other, which uh, uh, have become somehow obsolete or irrelevant. So that's the, that's the uh, challenge of, uh, of the educator to identify the, 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 the true, 
to need of uh, of of this new stuff which is 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 required so um, uh, the um, the challenges we have in in ICT uh, they they uh, appear from the uh, OSCA prognosis the the uh, and and uh, I'd like to emphasize that um, there is a growing need for for specialists with advanced technological skills. Industries across all sectors uh, are uh, are seeing workers capable of handling intelligent work and and uh, digital transformation. Then the other uh, other uh, statement is that uh, that the um, mm, uh, that there is a uh, shortage in skills related to data processing and cybersecurity, which is the main topic of, of today's conference. So that's a subdomain of, of this IT specialist, which, uh, uh, which has to be addressed uh, uh, as a part of, of this um, mm, question. And then the, the, it was referred earlier today already uh, that, that Estonia stands fairly well in, in PISA. So um, that's, that's correct. But, but again, we need, to, um, we need to make sure that our children are not going to use the digital devices only for, for, uh, to, for entertainment or mainly for entertainment, but actually would, would uh, uh, start to use them more to, to develop the, uh, the, these digital skills. Now, uh, it, it appears that somehow the, the, uh, um, the, the society has um, acknowledged the, the demand for, for ICT specialists and uh, the response has been, in some extent, uh, not in favor of other disciplines. So there is a pool of people who would specialize on technical uh, subjects. And if uh, th there is a high demand on ICT, we see that, that other uh, domains may be suffering. So the challenge on the level of policymaker is how to make it more appealing to, to more people, as it's by constitution, the, the choice in education is entirely free. And so, uh, uh, in order to address this, there are many new outreach activities being being launched, and uh, on 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 various levels of, of education. It's it's as you see, it, it's it's a pyramid, or as you know, it's a pyramid, and and uh, there are no way that we can uh, somehow uh, effectively uh, improve the the uh, the. Uh, higher education, unless we we um, keep uh, or on, if there is expectation that there should be a structural change in higher education, that it has to be uh, uh, it has to be uh, made possible on already on a general education because many choices uh, done are done on on the level of of. Uh, of uh, general education, and uh, in Estonia we we have identified uh, that that uh, the vocational education uh, needs very special attention, and uh, and uh, that that has become a new priority for us. Now, as as the uh, the time for uh, for me is is fairly limited, uh, I'd like to. Uh, brief, uh, briefly cover also the, the research and development, uh, which, uh, which uh, is, um, uh, is another part of our responsibility. And um, now I will skip some of the, the uh, some of the uh, information I, I was intending to, to share on on the um, youth programs. But uh, and uh, go directly to to uh, specific IT uh, programs. We have had very successful experience with with uh, what we call IT Academy, a specific designated program to improve the or to raise the awareness to to uh, improve the capacity in our universities uh, and. And uh, this has been truly successful. The, the number of uh, uh, high-level uh, 
researchers, educators has been increasing. Uh, the the output is is uh, of 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 this new workforce or, or, or the. Uh, research stuff is, is exceptional and based on this experience we intend to continue also for the next uh, uh, seven years this program and actually extend it to other domains uh, by large to, to engineering disciplines. So to the specific aspect of this IT academy has been that it's a very much driven by the co uh, entrepre entrepreneurs, the, the, um, the st stakeholders who specify what is the specific expectation uh, to, um, to educational sector. Uh, and, uh, and as the education stands on the foundation of, of research and development, we, uh, we use the uh, we use our uh, compactness, as was referred to before, uh, for our advantage as, and, and uh, focus on some very specific uh, domains. Uh, this is not only about ICT, of course, there are some other fields which we consider as priority areas. However, the digitalization uh, horizontally uh, throughout other industries is, is uh, uh, a stone and priority and as you can see the cybersecurity as a specific domain in this priority area is listed is listed and we have allocated significant resources to to um, to develop that uh, that part of uh, of research a number of initiatives uh, uh, the um, the thematic programs uh, mostly relying on on the uh, on the uh, uh, structural funds which still support the Estonian uh, Estonian um, uh, Estonia uh, and this will be the uh, the last period I believe where we can rely on European funds and uh, and one of these um, these uh, funds is uh, thematic, thematic R&D programs, which, which then uh, massively support uh, uh, ICT, uh, among other, other priority areas. Uh, the the uh, uh, specific topics developed in our universities will continue. Uh, this program is going to continue. There are three programs in, in our two major uh, universities, University of Tartu and uh, Taltec, the Technical University in Estonia. And the seventh topic is, is uh, digital transformation through lifelong learning, which is in, in Tallinn University. Now, uh, I see my, my time is, is up. Uh, there, are, there are so many topics to cover in, uh, in, in research. The last and final thing I'd like to mention is our collaboration with, with our Nordic, uh, uh, Nordic par uh, partners, or actually uh, I'm referring to the fastest supercomputer in Europe, uh, where Estonia is the co-host, the LUMI initiative, which is a, a fantastic opportunity for everybody doing uh, research, not only in ICT, but here the ICT, uh, or this is a platform, it's a tool, and we expect uh, this to be also a vehicle for this collaboration. Uh, between the Estonian researchers and, and uh, their Nordic peers. Thank you so much for having me on stage uh, uh, and uh, happy to answer all the questions you, you may have. Yes, applause time. Um, thank you very much, Sven, and, and, and for the overview and everything. And, and once again, uh, we're going to have now the, the Slido uh, numbers here in the background in a second so that you can also ask your questions. We already have one question as well. Uh, a bit of uh, more because you focused a lot about like what Estonia is doing, but I do know that also, you know, we work with a lot of EU countries as well. Um, by the statistics, so uh, 12 countries out of 27 in Europe uh, provide cyber as part of their curriculum. Uh, is there any kind of EU initiative to actually change that? Or do we have any power or is Estonia somehow also a bit forcing the other EU countries to think about that? Uh, great question. It's right now the time when, when the design of the next fr framework uh, program is... Uh, is it, 
is happening. Actually, oh, the, the, there are plans made how to continue for the next framework pro program, uh, and it's a it's a massive uh, re resource by one hand, and and uh, on the other hand, it's it's a. Uh, it's um, it's a challenge now to agree between all the countries, and of course, the, as the cyber uh, has become the priority in, in many ways, the, the, there should be a response in this uh, uh, next framework uh, program. But I can't really say that it's going to be like that because still, it's it's a conceptual phase. There are many reports being given in order to establish uh, the, the landscape, but uh, but uh, to my understanding, there is a quite significant consensus that that should be a, integral, uh, a part of that program. Mm -hmm. Um, so we also have some of the educators, like also some of the teachers in the room as well. I remember the time when I was younger and I was kind of working uh, to get entrepreneurship course as, as part of or sort of like a curriculum in a school. And there were a lot of responses as well that we got was like, no, we cannot take out mathematics. We have already too much job. Like we don't have enough, you know, time or uh, even uh, placed in, in our kind of school. Um, uh, I mean, also the calendar and everything to, to have these courses. Do you see that this is also also still one of the problems, that there is also a lot of kind of uh, resistance to this as well, saying that, you know, we cannot change that. Uh, we need also these classes that are very, very important as well. Uh well, you hit the nail. Uh, absolutely correct. The, the education as such is uh, quite traditional. I see that th 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 there is a quite a significant demand from, from outside to ch uh, for a change. But given that the, the, the it's quite institutionalized, there are so many uh, people involved, then it's quite understandable that it, it has certain inertia. So you can't, it's, a, it's, a, it's not an excuse. But it's more about how, how, what is the governing model for institutions. Where, uh, how do we choose the leaders? Because it it uh, it very much dep depends on the on the leaders. And if the leaders ha have been immersed into into this culture, then the change is possible. Of, of course, the the changing programs is is has been always possible. But but now we are seeing that the the uh, the cycles are getting shorter. And so that that puts uh, enormous pressure on the on the system. There are, uh, and, and it's, it's not easy at all. So making choices, and, and we are not, uh, it's not about, you know, looking in, in a mirror and, and thinking back, what, what did we need yesterday? It's more of, of seeing what is, what is in the future. Yeah. And at the end of the day as well, like actually cyber is not even a separate domain in education that should be included into a lot of different kind of also fields of Absolutely. education as well. But we are uh, out of time. Um, so uh, once again, a big applause to you uh, to also to uh, Renno uh, for his uh, overview about what's happening here in Estonia. Uh, so if you can uh, join for an applause.